That booty has mutated insomnia. It's determined to evolve, isn't it? But oh, well, actually, I guess I did give it. Where is it? Somewhere in here. Yeah, one of these. This thing. One of these two. These show all of your uh, add-ons that you get, and one of those is Darwinist. So it evolves much quicker. Trying to keep my eye on red planes and red boats. Okay, so we have infected. Oh, wow, lots of them. There we go. We've infected over half population. Oh, no, just under half now. It should be about over half now. Oh, there we go. 50% of the world is infected. So I guess we just leave it to continue doing what it does for a bit and then when we start to struggle with certain places like quite often Greenland and Canada are difficult to infect you start tailoring it to get in. Okay so they're now coughing and wheezing Let's get rid of that. We want it to be nice and hidden away. We don't want anyone to spot it until it's too late. Having a little trouble getting into Europe and some of the central areas of Africa. But I don't think it's going to be long until we have everything infected. There's Canada. Oh wow, let's pause that. There we go. So I just got a couple more places. What was that? I just got Peru. I just got Peru. So let's have a look. What places are we still struggling with? We still need to get Greenland and we still actually need to get Madagascar just down there. There's quite a few, but we do definitely have more countries with it than without. So looking at the map, Europe is probably the, the one we're going to have trouble with. So what can we do abilities wise for that? I would imagine this would be helpful because it increases infectiveness uh, in wealthy countries because obviously they're taking drugs. We give them drug de resistance and that should help. But we should definitely play around with these. What are these? Okay, so spore burst. Release a burst of plague spores into the air to infect a new country. And this does the same thing. They both cost two. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Oh, just got. Is that Italy I just got? Yeah, I just got Italy. So I think, oh, people are getting a rash. Don't want symptoms, go away symptoms. So are these just, I can just keep doing these. I don't know if what I'm doing is good or bad, but I kind of want to just do it and see how it goes. Spore eruption. Oh, I kind of want to do that. <gasps> wow. Okay, well, um, Do I have any places that aren't infected now? How much could I do that again? I don't know if I even need to do that again. That was what? Wow, everything is going red very quickly. That was a cr that was crazy. I did not expect that. Okay, but we do still have a few places that need infecting. Greenland, I think Germany, Poland, 
and Norway won't be too much of an issue, but Madagascar and Greenland, they will be. Transmission. I can't really do anything more for the ports because I believe port... Oh, well, oh, that was, that was Iceland. We need Greenland. But my, both Madagascar and Greenland only have one port each. So that could be quite tricky. I do have 44 points, so let's maybe... Again, land transmission. I don't need land transmission too much, I need air. Okay, well let's... Oh, I guess maybe I should save it. Oh, we can do this, definitely. And maybe do this one as well. That way it will... Because this is hot. And this is cold. Well, actually, no, technically this doesn't register as hot. You see these little icons. Uh, where are the icons on here? Here, so they're, they're wealthy. And what does the that mean? A poor... Oh, well, they're not wealthy. Sorry, there's a cross to it. So not w wealthy and rural country. So it doesn't actually say that it's warm. So I may have just wasted 20. Um, here it does actually say that they're cold. So it's a very cold and sparsely populated country. But it does still have 56,000 people on it. Which we want in fact. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I need to drink. So what have we got left? So just Germany and Poland, they'll be infected quite quickly because most of Europe is already infected. But then Madagascar and Greenland still. We just need everyone... There we go, Madagascar. So it's just... Oh, that, there goes Poland. Germany will be pretty soon behind that. Oh, no, any second now. Come on. There we go. Now we just need... I'm not sure which port it is that it comes from. I think it's one of these Scandinavian places. Let's get rid of that. It's one of these Scandinavian countries that uh, the boat comes from. And we need it to go there. Okay, so everyone in Sweden is infected. Everyone in Finland is infected. Only about 20,000 in Norway. I think that just came from Norway, that boat. So I think I need Norway to be 100% infected. Oh yeah, I just saw one go from Greenland over to Norway. There we go. It's going quite quickly now. So it shouldn't take too much longer for a boat to go over here that's infected. Oh no, that one came from Finland, I think. Or it might have even come from the Baltic States. Oh, come on, I, seem, I keep seeing lots of boats going over here, but none of them infected. Let's get rid of that cough. They are struggling to increase infectivity, aren't they? Although, it's going up pretty quick. Not really quick enough. There's 34 million people. I don't really want to waste too much more DNA points on them, though. Because I think that they can actually do it on their own, but we're not we've not been found yet. We've not caused too much of an issue. So we're a nice stealthy fungal disease. We're creeping in people's buildings. That's what we're doing. We're 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 growing and mutating and hiding. Oh, there's there goes Canada. All going red now. Yeah, we're hiding in people's walls. Uh, new rural livestock legislation. 
New rules for transport, hygiene, or farm animals make rural areas less vulnerable to disease. Uh, don't think that matters. I think we've pretty much got it. There's only nine people infected in Iceland. Why? And why is it not going up? 